Hi guys, we often have people ask us how does the interchiller affect the cabin AC performance? So in this video you're about to see the exact temperature and humidity from the Bureau of Meteorology along with the GM spec chart for that of the cabin vent temperature specs of what they should be based on temperature versus humidity for this particular day. Now we do understand that some people may say well how does it perform when it's an even hotter day? And that answer is simple. We are currently hitting the correct specs for vent temperatures and or better than spec. So the same will apply on a hotter day and in previous testing we have shown this to be true. When our summer temps arrive later this year we will redo this video again on a hotter day just to make that point clear. These results are typical of all of our interchiller systems when installed correctly in any make and model of car. We have been hitting these exact same GM specs in the Camaros now for over a year and the new CTSV guys, you also have nothing to worry about. The interchiller will not affect your cabin AC performance. One of the main reasons behind the interchiller not affecting the cabin AC has a lot to do with our patent pending design. I hope you enjoy this video. All right, we're gonna show you guys the cabin vent temperatures. Um, at the moment, it's three o'clock and it's, what is that, 22.2 degrees and the humidity is at 67%. Um, so if we look at, we're actually hitting 23. So if we look at our chart, you know, 60% humidity, 25 degrees we're supposed to be getting a cabin vent temperature of 8.92 so look i'll open i've got it plugged into a hvac multimeter um, i'll open the vent now and we'll see what it comes down to uh, so now the ac's on it's obviously going to come down bring it out now this is a proper you know hvac multimeter so it is an industry standard uh, for what the temperature should be um, i've also got the laser temperature gun here as well so we can see you know what the fuel like temperature is so if we have a look at that you know that comes down pretty quickly as well um, for what it feels like it's not too far off the multimeter spec um, but yeah we'll see so our target is to hit 8.92 uh, degrees coming out of the vent. So you obviously see it's coming down pretty quickly. The car's not moving, so this is the actually the worst case scenario. Um, obviously when the car's moving you've got a lot of airflow, so it's actually more beneficial because there'd be more air passing over the condenser. But being that the car's not moving, um, you know, there's less airflow. So this is actually the worst case scenario to punish the system the most. Um, for what, you, what you're supposed to get on a day like today. Uh, so look, we're obviously nearly hitting spec. We're supposed to hit 8.92. It's only been on for about 30 seconds now. Um, it obviously, it feels nice and cold. I can feel it hitting my face. Um, if we have a look at the, you know, what it feels like temperature with the, the laser gun, you know, it comes down pretty quickly. You know, it's coming, you know, 1.5. We've hit spec now, so we were supposed to hit 8.9, we've hit 8.3. You know, the what it feels like temperature is hitting zero, uh, depending on where you sort of point it. So, you know, minus 0 0.5. For you guys in Fahrenheit, you know, we're hitting 32. Um, so it's obviously coming out very, very cold. We're now below spec, so we're hitting 7.8. So now I'll go back to the chart and show you guys again the chart. This side here is our humidity, relative humidity. We're supposed to be in the 70% range because it is 68% humidity. So it goes in 20% increments. Uh, so if we go off the 60% chart, um, there 25 degree day, we're supposed to be hitting 8.92 at the vent. If we even went down to the 80%, which is halfway in between the 60 and 80, you know, we're supposed to be hitting 11.15. So obviously, as you can see, the chiller is not impacting the vent temperature at all. It's it's coming out nice and cold. It feels nice and cold in here. Um, so yeah, that's about it. All right, we're just going for a, a quick drive just to see how it's performing while we're driving. 
It's down to you know 6.5 degrees coming out of the vent, uh, which is you know 43.5 Fahrenheit. Um, you know, and obviously the what it feels like temperature. You know, minus 2.3. 27.9 Fahrenheit so it's obviously working very well it's actually a bit warmer now that we're moving 25 degrees um, our intake air temperature that temperature is actually really good you know it's at 11 um, so that's about 51 Fahrenheit that that's at so you know working perfectly there's there's no problems at all